Welcome back everybody. Today we've got something a little different than what we've looked at previously, um, but something we do have a couple of reference points for, and that is this Samson USB microphone. This is the Go Mic, they call it. Um, so this is a portable USB condenser microphone built for video chatting, podcasting, gaming, streaming. Uh, we bought a bunch um, at my day job for video conferencing. Um, so this is just portable USB mic, clips on your laptop. They show a little cardioid pattern on here and they've got a nice little diagram or graphic of it uh, clipped on top of some generic laptop. So the idea is that this is a portable mic. It's gonna be better than your laptop's built-in mic. Um, maybe not as good as a full-blown desk condenser microphone or shotgun would be, but it's a lot more portable. Um, because when we're looking at it, the idea is that the whole package fits in to that much space, which actually... This has got a nice amount of heft to it. Uh, let's you can hear that it's got some mass. Feels like high density plastic, aluminum. Yeah, not steel, aluminum. So this is the Go Mic itself. Oh, that is a strong spring. And the idea is that here's our mic, it rotates and flips out, very easy to see which side's front and back. There is a three position switch on the back, so we have a omnidirectional pickup pattern, minus 10 BD, uh, dB, and a cardioid pickup pattern option. So that's good. Um, you would use the minus 10 if for whatever reason the applications were particularly hot. You would use the sort of uh, omnidirectional pattern if you were working on a system with multiple people. So let's see what else do we got in here. Oh look an owner's manual. Um, did I get anything wrong? Um, integrated clip allows you to mount the microphone directly on your laptop. It can also be used on a standard microphone stand. Oh, look at that. So this is threaded. So you can thread that in and use it. Um, it also, it's got these little rubber feet here. Seems perfectly happy sitting on a desk. Um, do, 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 should it ever need servicing or return authorization must be obtained before shipping. Um, does it say how long the warranty is? It just says that you need a return authorization if you need one. Cool pattern USB condenser mic figured that powered out already. Three position polar pattern and pad switch with cardio and omnidirectional. We went through that already. Fold up design with integral quip. Clip, yep. Onboard headphone output for zero latency monitoring. So you've got a, a monitor out here. Um, analog digital converter, 16-bit, 44.1, 48 kilohertz sampling rate. Better than CD. I mean, that's technically correct. Um, that's not the 96 or 192 you get on something like the Sound Blaster we use here in the studio, which is 96. Um, or the Behringer that I have on my desk, which is 192. But for the live broadcast applications that this is intended for, I mean, you could use it for light narration, voiceover type stuff. 16-bit um, 44.148 is not terrible either. Connecting to a computer basically is going to be plug-in the USB cable and make sure that your OS picks the right audio device. Most vocal applications position the mic directly in front of the artist between 4 and 18 inches. Got it. At no point in there did it tell me how long the warranty was. 
just that it had one and you needed a return number if you had to get it serviced. Samson Audio, two years. I mean, that's not bad, two years for a little mic like this. All right, so the big, big comparison points for a microphone like this would be something like this blue Yeti mic that I have or my NW700. Now, to be honest, and if you want to hear the NW700, there's a review of it. There'll be a link in the description below. Because this requires uh, setting up on a phantom power capable mixer, we're not going to do that. We're not going to interrupt our studio mics to play with that today. Um, outright, this is just in a, in a different class. I mean, it, it's a condenser mic, so it's still going to behave similarly to the way either one of these would in active use. But the focus here is that maybe it's not quite as good as this blue. And we'll, we'll plug in the blue since it uses the same micro USB. But... That doesn't matter because this isn't going to fit in my laptop case very well. And, you know, this I don't even like as much as, say, my NW700, which I can pipe two of these into a mixer and play with all the things, is actually still more convenient than this is because, I already said, this needs a phantom power capable mixer. This has a little bit more electronics and it. it is a little smarter um, just plugs in via micro USB cable these are very popular with streamers very popular for entry-level voice stuff uh, because of their ease of use so these blue mics do they do cost more there's a whole lot more in here than the NW700 um, because they're just straight up a USB device They've got multiple pickup patterns, volume knobs on them. They, they do direct monitoring. This is just a cardioid mic. Um, and the NW700 isn't, you know, the world's best cardioid mic either. So do I, am I going to make a sound quality comparison between these two? Well, you're going to hear the blue in a minute here. We'll plug it into our laptop. You'll hear the Samson. I'm going to link the uh, review that included the NW700. That was using our Beach Tech DXA mixer, which I love for its portability. I don't use it in the studio anymore because I like having stereo mics. So let's set the NW700 off to the side and start playing with the Samson. So first thing, is my laptop dead? Looks like we're not dead. Certain laptops are going to pose an issue with this. You can see here, I'm grabbing maybe four millimeters worth of bezel, roughly three eighths of an inch. Um, my P50 is an older design, not a big issue. I can grab it on the top. I can grab it on the side. I can grab it on this side so I can grab whatever is most appropriate for where I'm using it. And that's actually very nice that that folds in all of those directions. Uh, but there are some newer, like zero bezel laptops that don't have a ton of real estate to do something like that with. Um, that said, I mean, if I was on a video call, I could put it there, no problem. I mean, I'm blocking F7 through F11, but hopefully I'm not using those during said call. So let's go ahead and do a couple of comparisons. All right, so we're going to fire up Audacity, and we're just going to do a quick record. Um, you know what? I'm just going to read the intro to Paul's newest article here. Cat Phones releases first antimicrobial rugged device. You've heard that your phone is dirtier than a toilet seat, and it's true. A device that's slick, usually warm, and if kept in your pocket, might also be slightly moist. What could go wrong? Yeah, it's filthy. Alright, so now we're going to record that with the laptop mics. 
Cat Phones releases first fully antimicrobial rugged mobile device. You've heard that your phone is dirtier than a toilet seat, and it's true. A device that's slick, usually warm, and if kept in your pocket, might also be slightly moist. What could go wrong? Yeah, it's filthy. All right, now let's go ahead and plug in the Samson. Actually, let's plug in the blue first. Because I'm already pretty familiar with the blue. Um, to be honest, I use these fairly regularly. And the reasoning for that is... Uh, I don't have a full audio studio in my office. And let's bring the gain down just a little. Cat Phones releases first fully antimicrobial rugged mobile device. You've heard that your phone is dirtier than a toilet seat, and it's true. A device that's slick, usually warm, and if kept in your pocket might also be slightly moist. What could go wrong? Yeah, it's filthy. And for fairness sake, what we are going to do is we're going to clip the Samson basically in the same spot that the blue is. Um, put it up there. So normally I would probably put it closer to center on my screen, but since the blue is here, I'm going to put the Samson in the same place. We can see that it seems to be fairly sensitive. I keep getting a green and red blinking LED. I bet that means that it is clipping some. LED dual power LED lights flashes red when the input signal is clipping neat all right which pattern do I have it on it is currently on omnidirectional we're gonna set it to cardioid because that's what we used with the blue Samsung go mic is set Cat Phones releases first fully antimicrobial rugged mobile device. You've heard that your phone is dirtier than a toilet seat, and it's true. A device that's slick, usually warm, and if kept in your pocket might also be slightly moist. What could go wrong? Yeah, it's filthy. Cat Phones releases first fully antimicrobial rugged mobile device. You've heard that your phone is dirtier than a toilet seat, and it's true. Alright, so... That was a fun little experiment. Let's go ahead and listen to these. Cat Phones releases first fully antimicrobial. Okay, so this is where we get to draw interesting conclusions in this specific application. The way I used it, I'm having a hard time distinguishing the Samson mic from the blue mic listening to them. And that's actually not a bad thing. The big thing that jumps out is that the Samson mic did record a hotter signal. It showed more clipping on the LED, um, very sensitive to if I tap it. Now, that's not bad. Um, honestly, I find people tend to put a dB gain on their laptop mic. So, 
a slightly hotter signal than the blue, which I have a gain volume knob on, and that's actually where I was headed, isn't the worst thing ever. You know, the, the blue, I could have turned the gain up a little and had exactly the same signal coming in, and these were both configured as cardioid. This is obviously a more flexible mic. If you're at a desk, if you don't travel any, the Samson Go mic is not the microphone for you. If you do, it sounded substantially better than my laptop's internal microphone array, which is honestly fairly impressive, considering that as far as I'm aware, my P50 has like a, a three microphone array. Um, it is pretty good as far as laptop mics are concerned. dual array microphone. There are two mics, one on either side of the webcam. For some reason I thought this was also a mic down at the bottom. In fact, that was a fleck of dust that just happened to look the same. Um, so dual array mic, not as good as a big condenser mic. Kind of expected that. Didn't expect how hollow my laptop sounded, especially next to these mics. I generally think I sound fine on conference calls, and now I'm appalled that I ever sounded that way. So, um, where does that leave us on the Samson Go mic? Well, if you're a professional and you're making money doing voiceovers, this isn't the microphone for you. If you're a recording artist, you know, recording your next signal, same thing, not the microphone for you. People like that, voice actors, that kind of thing. Maybe you can get away with the blue um, if you're doing it at a prosumer level for, you know, for video games and that kind of stuff. But odds are you probably want a full proper condenser mic, something that makes my NW700 look bad, and you're not the target audience for this. If you're a streamer and you're one of the more portable streamers, you know. You play your games on a laptop, you go on locations, you do events, that type of stuff. The lack of a volume adjustment and a gain adjustment mean that really this isn't what you want where your big setup is. But for something to take to events, this is an excellent option. It's small, it fits inside this little case. In fact, let's go ahead and put it in there now. And only takes one USB cable and you can just clip it to a monitor, you can clip it to your laptop, and you're good to go. Um, if you're a business user, you're the target demographic for this. The type of person who is going to go to conferences, who is going to go um, and do various training events, who's going to do meetings, who's going to give presentations. This is for you. You were the person that Samson built this for. And it works flawlessly for that market. In fact, the only thing that I think I can really complain about for that user type, looks like it's gonna be that the USB cable is kind of a tight fit in the provided case. In fact, I don't even know if it's going to fit. The USB cable doesn't fit in the case. Guys, I, all right, I take that back. Um, but it barely fit. You probably want a different USB cable <laughs> than the one they provided and honestly what I think makes it so hard to fit it in here uh, is this magnetic coupling or filter. I may pop that off or try with a different cable. Microphone itself perfectly happy in here and to be honest you've probably got other USB cables in your bag anyway. So Someone like that, someone like me, 
I'm going to toss this in my laptop case, and yeah, it's got a couple ounces of heft to it. Um, do they list that on the specs here at all, what its weight is? No. No, they don't. Um, oh, there we go. Specifications. 105 grams. 0.23 pounds. That is a lot for a microphone. Um, real quick before I forget, element type 2 electric, conden electric condenser, 10 millimeter cardioid, and omni. So basically what it's going to do is when it's in omni mode, it's going to run both condensers front and back. When it's in cardioid, it's only going to run one. Um, frequency response cardioid is 80 hertz to 18 kilohertz. Omni is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. I'm honestly surprised to hear that it's like that. I would have expected a better response in cardioid mode, and the reason for that being, if there are two condensers in here, which is what it looks like they've done, in fact, I'm going to get a little screwdriver and pop it open in just a second. I'm going to get a screwdriver and pop it open now. Who am I kidding? So, anyway, as I was saying, if this is built the way I anticipate it is internally, I would have expected that powering a single condenser would lead to a better result than powering both condensers. You know, somehow I expected this to come apart a lot easier than it is. There we go. Okay, well, I didn't need to take half of that apart. All right, so uh, there's our condenser module. Okay, well, I'm kind of stumped. It looks like I can't take this apart any further without destroying it. Uh, but what I can see going on is there's this assembly of four cables, basically. And it looks like it's not quite what I anticipated. I expected to find two separate microphone elements sandwiched back to back. And it looks like this is a single microphone element. Everything is soldered to one side of it. Um... But it clearly operates, you know, front and back in some form to have a non-cardioid pickup pattern when it's in omnidirectional mode. And it says that there's two condensers in there. I mean, it's in my spec here. Although, I mean, I don't see two condensers. I just see one. Maybe the cables are in front of the one condenser that's on the back. Um... I mean, that's suboptimal, but it would work. Um, anyway, so the omnidirectional actually has a 20 to 20 as opposed to the cardioid, which is 80 to 18. That's just kind of weird. Um, sampling rate 44.1. That's what all of our samples were run at for our test. That's just the default that Audacity picks for projects. Um, 48 kilohertz also available. Sensitivity, minus 47, plus or minus 2 dB slash PA. Maximum SPL is 121. The headphone out is 3.5 millimeter. Uh, stand adapter is 3 8 19, which I believe is the same as just my bog standard mic stand that the NW700's on. In fact, let's go ahead and take it off its stand. Nope, that's a 5.8 stand. All right. Um, yeah, one meter USB cable, zipper pouch. Yeah, that's a one meter cable. 
All right, um, that's the Samson Go mic. Sadly, uh, not feasible to really take much of it apart non-destructively, um, which is something I know we've done before, especially mics like this. You can tend to uh, just take the body apart. So I, I, you know, I can very, very easily show you what a condenser mic looks like. So what I anticipated was to find two of this module back to back. And what I instead found was some form of four cable module that looks like it may contain a pair of these, but the cables are in front of one of them, which I think is kind of weird. Um, unfortunately, I can't destroy this Samson mic to answer my questions here because I need it for work. I mean, we, we bought it, we need to use it. Um, so I'm limited on how destructive I can be. Anyway, so that's the Samson Go mic. Um, I will, this one's actually going to be in my bag. So if anyone has any questions about it, feel free to ask and I will do my best to answer them. Um, I'm going to put this together back together off camera real quick, but I think that is it. I almost forgot. I did want to talk about the price on the Samsung Go mic. Um, these are about 50 bucks a piece. I feel like that's a little bit high considering the um, size of the mic. It just doesn't feel like $50 worth of stuff looking at something so small. That said, it is, you know, $50 worth of value for the right people. Um, and that's why I mentioned business users and uh, streamers are definitely two of the key markets that this is aimed at. Um, creation professionals probably have better, more expensive mics anyway. But people like me who just need something better than apparently our horrid laptop microphones on the go, uh, this really is an easy win. So 50 bucks, not the cheapest mic in the world, not the most expensive either, and definitely a good value if you're the target market. Um, I do want to thank... As always, Electrix for providing our opening and closing themes. I want to thank anyone who helps support Pocketables either on Patreon or by using our Amazon affiliate links. It really is support like that that helps make videos like this possible. And finally, thank you for watching.